much. Well, another story heavily discussed online today is a social media blunder. With all the massive web interest in Iran, it seems that someone thought it could be a good way, believe me, this, to sell some furniture online. The design store Habitat's been caught using online search terms connected to the election protest to promote messages on its Twitter feed. Now, it does mean that anyone looking for information about Iran on the social networking site received tweets on new products and Habitat offers. Now, Paul Dawson is a social media expert at EMC Conchango. That's right. I, I thought that was how I pronounced <coughs> it. Now, we should say the company has withdrawn, Paul, the messages, and they have admitted their mistake. But what a mistake. It is, it is a mistake, but it's a mistake in a world where you know, th there's no clear definition of what is the right and wrong thing to do. This was actually very clearly, however, the wrong thing to do. I and mean, it's worth putting it in context. Uh, we talked about earlier about 1,600 tweets re related to Iran. Um, mm. About 400 spun up off the back of this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, uh, which in the grand scheme of things, it's, I mean, Twitter's like a great big pub conversation, so conversations and topics come and go very fast. And I think the vital thing is that, that Habitat get in there and fix this very quickly. Uh, we should just maybe for the uninitiated or the people who haven't actually tweeted yet, uh, the way you can categorise conversations, or at least the machinery, the, the computers will pick out the most popular words, and certainly Iran election and all the discussion that's going on around there is the most popular thing on Twitter, has been for weeks. Now, is it not tasteless? for a marketing guy or girl to suddenly think, hey, let's try and tag on, flog a few bits of furniture it, on the back of this. It's horrendously tasteless. Uh, it is, uh, you know, it's a technique that if it was on email would be called spamming. So unsolicited messages, completely out of context. Um, I mean, the mechanism you're talking about is the hashtag. And the hashtag is a way of users categorizing something so that other people following that topic can, can track it. And there are a number of tools around that will show trending topics, so the things that people are talking about most. And, and there are some you know, less um, you know, uh, mm. auspicious companies who are taking advantage of this to effectively grab their placard, run on the stage, and, and wave it in front of the camera, rather like someone bursting into the studio right now. Let's hope you're wrong about that. But anyway, um, how not to use Twitter? This is the blog that actually broke the story. Here we, we've got it on the screen behind us here. Uh, that actually broke the story and pointed out it is. Uh, from what we can work out, and of course the, the PR companies have got their act together now and they've sort of closed ranks on this, was it an error? Was it a deliberate act by the company concerned? Or do you think this was some youngster in a company thinking, hey, this would be a good wizard well, wheeze? Let's, yeah, let's differentiate between the company and, and who actually put these things out there. Whoever put these things out there knew exactly what they were doing. They, uh, they very deliberately took advantage of trending topics and threw their messages into the middle of that. Now, no responsible company that I know, and I know Habitat reasonably well, would ever think that that was good behaviour. <clears throat> so one can only assume that they either had some bad advice um, I mean, put simply, the advice would be, if you want to reach as many people as possible on Twitter, this is the way to do it. That is the way to do it. It's not the it's right not way to do it. It's not the right way to do it. And just to have a look, just have a look at the Twitter feed now um, <coughs> from Habitat, which is over there on the screen. And, you know, guess what? As I scrolled up and down this, it's all about furniture and oak standing mirrors yeah. and no attachments to anything to do with what is no, going on so in Iran at all. No, and that's right. And the, those tweets that, that were... And it wasn't just Iran. It was a, uh, attaching itself to a number of topics from iPhone to all sorts of things, just things that people were talking about. The critical thing they need to do next is get out on that Twitter feed and start talking to the people of Twitter and starting to understand more about how they should be using it. OK, so a bit of learning to be done. Paul, good to see you. Paul Dawson, thank, thank you. you very much indeed. Thank you. Right, now the stories that you've been searching for on the Sky News website today, and let's do the <laughs> countdown for you. The fifth most common search term is this one, Madeleine McCann. Once again, you're searching for the latest on the private investigation into her disappearance. The fourth most common search term today is bank charges. The House of Lords is due to rule on charges for unauthorised overdrafts. The third most common search term is Iran, as per our conversation we've just been having. The Iranian government has expelled two British diplomats from Tehran. The second most common search term on our site today, swine flu. You assess exactly what's been going on and try and learn about the latest on the spread of the virus. And the most popular search term on the Sky News website today is Satanta. The sports broadcaster, as you may well have discovered if you turned on the telly this evening, has gone into administration. Now, you can comment on that story and see how the programme shapes up on our blog. You just click on the left-hand link down there on the blog section of the website, which is skynews.com. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, and I promise not to put spurious spam tweets up, 
you just go to Martin Stanford. Still to come this evening, the most popular web video of the day, including this one. A surf definitely isn't up for this swimmer. Ouch. The blogger versus the pop singer. The latest online celebrity feud. Hot's up. The latest on that next. And for those watching live online, why Berlin Zoo is showing off its latest arrival. Do that story for you during this commercial break. Dad, I've got some news. Whether you're saying something momentous or something every day, it's better to take your time and use your BT landline. And with friends and family mobile, calls to mobiles are now just 7 